When you're adding positive and negative numbers together, it can be helpful to draw a picture so you can visualize what's going on. There's a couple different ways you can visualize this. Um, I'll show you two different ways. Let's start with this first one. We have negative 3 plus 5. You can think of this as negative 3 plus a positive 5. One way to visualize this is to imagine that you're standing on the ground. So let's say this line represents the ground, and here's you, you're standing at ground level. This negative 3 that you start with, you can think of that as if you are digging a hole 3 units down into the ground. So you're in the hole 3. You're adding a positive 5, and when you're adding a positive, you want to think of that as going up. So you would go up five units, one, two, three, four, five. So this represents the plus five. So when you give your final answer, you want to think about where you started here at ground level and where you ended up right here. From where you started to where you ended up, you ended up going up two from where you started. So your final answer would be a positive two. You ended up two units higher than where you were at the beginning. Another way to visualize this problem would be to draw positive and negative signs for each number. So this negative 3, you could represent that by drawing three negative signs. One, two, three. So this represents negative 3. And you have a positive 5, so you could represent that by drawing five positive signs. If you put a plus 1 with a minus 1, they cancel out. You can think of it as giving someone a dollar and taking the dollar away. You're essentially doing nothing. So these cancel. This pair would cancel and this pair would cancel. So if you look at what's left over, you have two positives left over. So your answer is a positive two. You had more positives than negatives. Let's look at the next one. This next one we're adding two negatives together. A common mistake that students make is to see two negative signs and assume that means the answer is positive. That's when you're multiplying. When you're multiplying two negatives together, you get a positive. But when you're adding two negatives, that's not the case. Let's draw a picture to help us visualize this. Let's say here you are standing at ground level. This negative four, you could think about that as going down four units into the ground. One, two, three, four. So you went four units down. And you're adding a negative, more negative, so you're going down two more units into the ground. When you give your answer, you always want to think about where you started and where you ended up. So you started here at the ground level and you ended up way down here. So you ended up going down a total of six units. So your answer would be negative 6. If you want to draw positive and negative signs to represent this one, you started with 4 negatives, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you added 2 more negatives. When you have all negative signs, none of them canceled out, and so if you look now, you have a total of 6 negatives. So when you add negatives to negatives, you just end up with more negatives. Let's look at one more. This one starts with a positive 1, and then we're adding a negative 5 to that. If we're going to use our visual of standing on the ground, here we are at ground level. This plus 1, you can think about that as going up one unit into the air. Say you're climbing a ladder. Then the minus 5, think of that as going back down 5 units. So this would be the minus 5. When you give your answer, you want to think about where you started. You started at ground level and where you ended up. So you started here and you ended up going down four units. So your answer would be negative four. If you want to visualize this problem with plus and minus signs, you would start with a positive one, one positive, and then you have five negatives, one, two, three, four, five. If I add one and take away one, these cancel out. And if you look at what's left over, you have four negatives left over. You had more negatives than positives, so your answer is negative four.